Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to review the Bullets Wireless Z, the latest pair of headphones that came out from OnePlus at the same time as they announced the OnePlus 8 and the OnePlus 8 Pro. Are they good? Are they worth the 50 bucks? They're, are they really good as a budget pair of headphones? And lastly, how do they compare to the Bullets Wireless 2? This is TK, let's check them out. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified whenever we have new videos on the channel. So what I have in front of us is obviously the brand new box. As you see, the design actually is a little bit different. So this is the uh, Bullets Wireless 2 uh, from last generation. This is the olive one, the latest color that they released. Uh, the box is a little bit flatter and it obviously has, does say Bullets Wireless Z or Z depending where you are. Uh, we're supposed to be able to get up to 10 hours of uh, playback with 10 minute worth of charging using the charger that comes with our OnePlus device. And of course, total up to 20 hours of playback with a full battery charged. They are not true wireless. They're very much in the same style of the Bullets wireless uh, headphones, meaning we have a band that goes all around the back and we have a microphone and everything else. We'll get a chance to check that out. So what you see here essentially 10 minutes will give you about 10 hours using the warp charge. So fast charging using the charger that comes with your OnePlus device. Uh, long battery life, of course, up to 20 hours of battery uh, music playback. And of course, magnetic control. Those little magnetic cl uh, clamps on the back of each earpiece allow us to actually keep them uh, stowed together as well as be able to pause and dis disconnect them from your device. Last thing, we have waterproof, so this design is waterproof. Quick switch between two devices, so you're able to pair it to two different devices and switch between each device without touching the phone by basically double pressing the, power, the main power button. And then of course, low latency mode. And now this one is primarily supported in fanatic mode with OnePlus devices. So you need to be aware that the low latency for gaming uh, is pretty much that's where they're demonstrating it. So fanatic mode is a gaming mode that's built in directly into OnePlus devices. And we'll get a chance to check that out. So the box is pretty simple. The headphones are pretty much there. Uh, you normally would have them in here. You could just remove it and then take them out. It's nothing really complicated about the wireless bullet seats. Uh, there's nothing in this box other than basically just say never settle. Uh, now the difference obviously is these are priced at $50. So they're basically $50 less than the wireless bullet 2. Uh, the wireless bullet 2 does come with additional things in the box such as a pouch and so on. This one does not actually. Uh, this has the instruction manuals on one side and then on the other side uh, we have basically the uh, USB-C to USB type A charger and of course additional ear tips. That's pretty much it. You pretty much get the he actual headphone again a charging cable that you're able to connect to directly at your PC or so on to charge it up and of course uh, the additional ear tips if the ones that are provided are not the right fit. Uh, now, the actual mechanism or the actual design is very, very similar to the one that we saw with the wireless bullet 2. What I mean by this essentially is two magnetic earpieces. Uh, the microphone is sitting here and this is going to be your left ear, uh, ear tip. So uh, the design basically enforces it. So the microphone, the volume control, the uh, play and pause, um, obviously the microphones on the back is all sitting on the left ear as well as the charging port, which will be able to give you that uh, up to 20 hours of playback on, the, on a full battery, but also up to 10 hours with 10 minutes. And of course the power button and again we have also the wireless bullets so you guys say oneplus and of course the name is right there uh, the other side is not much pretty much this is just the batteries this is pretty much where the batteries are sitting so you can actually use them um, pairing them to your device is pretty simple. When you first uh, pick them up out of the box, obviously it's going to be in pairing mode when you turn it on. But if you want to pair it at a later time, just unhook them, press and hold the, uh, the power button that you have in there, and then you'll notice that there's a little LED that's right present under it. It'll go into pairing mode, and at that point you'll be able to pair it to a device. It's flashing white right now because that's basically just normal mode and it's going to connect. And if, I, if you want to be able to disconnect them from any device, just go ahead and put them together. And as soon as the magnetic connections go through, it disables the power on the actual unit. So as far as the design look, you can pretty much see they look pretty much the same. The material on the wireless bullet too, obviously is a little bit better, uh, but this one pretty much looks the exact same. The configuration is pretty much the same. The magnetic clasps are pretty much the same. They can even magnetically connect to each other, but I don't recommend you doing that. But uh, overall, as far as the actual uh, configuration, the controller is pretty much exactly the same, just different color. Microphone placement is in the same uh, spot. And of course, if we go over to the actual charging uh, section, here we are. The buttons are sitting in the same spot. The charging port are in the same spot. Everything pretty much sits the exact same way. They they took the design from the Bullets 2 and gave it directly to the wireless, uh, well, the Bullets Z. So just keep in mind overall uh, performance wise, as far as charging and usability, I think very much the same. And the Bullets 2 support that quick, quick switch between two different devices as well. So the OnePlus 8 Pro is on the left, the Galaxy S20 Ultra is on the right. I'm gonna go ahead and unlock uh, this one and you'll notice that it'll automatically start playing. Now, one cool thing about the OnePlus 8, uh, the way it works, there's an additional function here that enables you to actually automatically pause and play the music when you're playing. But let's say I wanna be able to switch from one device to the other. Again, here is the little switch. 
double press it, give it a second, it's gonna disconnect from this device and then connect to this device and then of course picks up exactly where I was. Very easy, very simple. And again, this function works exactly on the on the version two of these headphones. If I wanna go back, double press the power button, again, disconnects from this one and then it goes back directly to my OnePlus 8 Pro. Now, as far as the actual codec and what does it actually support, does it support the exact same configuration as the Bullets 2? Uh, there's actually a little bit of a difference. This one does support AAC and, of course, HD audio through AAC, but the Bullets 2 do support Aptex HD, which actually is a little bit better as far as the audio codec. So from an audio performance, you are going to expect, and it actually does uh, sound a lot better using the Bullets 2, but let's see how the actual Bullets Zs perform. Overall, again, AAC in HD, but no Aptex HD. So just be aware of that, but that's one of the big differences as well as far as audio performance. Now when it comes to the actual sound configuration, the device obviously supports Dolby Atmos as well as the fact that my S20 Ultra supports it. So if I go into Dolby Atmos, there's additional features here that you are able to customize specifically for wireless bullets. So in this situation, I'm able to turn on the earphone sound enhancement that is only available for wireless bullets. So if I turn this off, this option goes away. And of course, I'm able to go in there and customize the built-in EQ on top of the fact of having Dolby Atmos. So you can also go in, customize the dynamic, movie, music, and none. And of course, you can go in there and style I'll turn on a different basically uh, a preference as far as an EQ and even customize it with your own personal preference. So definitely a lot more conf uh, configuration that we have here built into the wireless Z's. And last but not least, within OnePlus, the system actually enables you also to have the Bluetooth absolute volume, of course, uh, the ability of having caller ID called out whenever you have the earphones in, answer calls or uh, smart answer calls, and of course, autoplay. That's that nice little functionality. If I turn this on, this example will be right here. I'm gonna go ahead and play some music. The music is playing as my headphones are in here, so I can actually kind of hear them. So I'll go ahead and, whoops, let's go ahead and pause it. So the music went ahead and went paused, and of course, I can go ahead and open it up. and it starts out right out of that right away. So this is again something that is unique to OnePlus devices. So you'll be able to use all of those same functionalities that you've used with other pairs of headphones. So let's go ahead and switch over now to the actual uh, performance as far as range. So do they perform at the same range as what you can expect uh, using the wireless bullets too? So we're gonna go ahead and do a range test. I have both headphones right now paired to the OnePlus uh, 8 Pro. I'm gonna go ahead and start music. First thing I'm gonna do obviously is I'm gonna use the new Z's again. They're the darker ones. And we're gonna start going. Again, just to see how far we're able to play, I'm actually gonna go through my entire backyard all the way to the back of the house. So essentially there's a house between me and the actual phone. So sounds good. Still have that here. Went ahead and turned off the wireless bullet Z. And of course, we'll go ahead and connect these guys. These are the bullets too. I'll give it a second. Sure enough, audio plays on both the exact same way. So as you saw, the range is actually pretty good. I was able to go literally from one side of my backyard all the way to the other side and having the house in between me and the uh, OnePlus 8 Pro, there was no problem at all. Audio played back pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and switch over to playing some music real quick. So again, the earpieces, uh, keep in mind that the one with the microphone is gonna be your left ear and you'll figure it out pretty quickly. And of course, just putting them in. So using the headphones is gonna be pretty simple. Obviously you put this on the other side of your uh, neck and it works pretty well. Uh, now, as far as actually what can you do with the actual uh, microphone or the actual controller here on the left, you can pause and play. So we'll go ahead and play the music. We'll go ahead and start. And then pause it again. Pretty simple, normal functionality. I can raise the volume, lower the volume, and that actually controls the volume on the phone. There's no additional volume on the actual uh, earpiece. So if I start music, As you guys could see, I'm actually putting the phone for you guys right there. Otherwise, if you press and hold the initiation key, you'll be able to launch the assistant. Now this will actually work with Google or with the uh, Amazon assistant if you have it set as the default one. So whichever one is the default, you can configure it and it'll launch it for you as well. So no personal preference as far as which one or which one goes over the other. So now real quick, as far as the actual sound isolation here, there is no noise cancellation. Uh, pretty much most of the isolation that you're gonna be receiving is the fact that these ear tips 
are actually in ear. So at some point, obviously, by just inserting them in your ear, you're reducing the outside ambient noise. It's not going to be truly quiet, so meaning you still are going to be able to hear other people, so that's the benefit there. But again, no noise cancellation. Uh, but as far as the actual performance, let's go ahead and put them in. I just want to see if you guys can hear any sound leakage when you have them in your ear. So the sound on this actually can get pretty loud. So the highest maximum 100% is definitely very loud and probably imagine that you guys could actually hear some of that. Um, so just be aware, obviously, just play it at the level that's a comfortable level. Don't play it too loud as you can obviously imagine. An extended amount of loud, loud music in this kind of configuration could actually cause some ear damage so uh, or hearing damage. So please just play it responsibly and of course pay it at comfortable levels. So for me, I like to usually play it around basically 35 to 45%. I don't even like to go to 50 unless it's a very loud environment. So I've been using the Bullets Z's for the last week on my OnePlus 8 Pro and the S20 Ultra. Um, overall battery life, as you can expect, very, very nice. It's stellar. Charging them is pretty quick. Not that I, no, no issues at all as far as getting it really a quick charge right away and then being able to use them for a long time. Um, audio quality on these for music as well as uh, phone calls was actually pretty good. And as you guys saw, the range on them is actually pretty nice. Uh, again, keep in mind that they don't support the Aptex HD. So if you're looking for that, I recommend you going straight to the OnePlus, uh, the Bullets 2. Those support the Aptex HD and they do definitely show that. The audio quality between these two pairs of headphones is definitely noticeable. So if you put try them on, you'll definitely see that the Bullets 2 still sound a lot better and definitely command that $100 price point. I think at 50 bucks, they're definitely good as far as a budget for friendly uh, pair of headphones. They don't sound bad, they're just not very bassy, but call quality, music playback, range, battery life, all of those things will work great. I feel like all of the special features that are built into OnePlus as far as Oxygen OS optimizations will obviously shine more on a OnePlus device. I'm talking about the low latency for fanatic mode. I'm also talking about the fact that you're able to turn on that special option to you'll be able to enhance the audio for them. Uh, and they do actually sound a little bit better on a OnePlus device. So I have seen other people test these headphones with other phones and I did test it out with my S20 Ultra. The performance there was pretty much mirrored as what I saw with the OnePlus 8 Pro. Uh, as far as the difference in performance, not that they didn't perform well. Again, not very bassy as far as the sound, but you do definitely get a little bit of a thumb. So uh, if you're looking for a really good, a very high quality audio experience, I feel like the 50 additional dollars for the Bullets 2 is still justified. Uh, but if you're just looking for a budget pair of headphones that will last you forever, has great range and works really good with OnePlus devices as you're picking up your brand new OnePlus 8 or OnePlus 8 Pro, or even if you have the earlier generations of OnePlus devices, I, like, I think these will perform quite well. Uh, but again, keep in mind, they're about 50 bucks. Um, the volume control is really good. Volume level is actually very, very loud. So please be aware not to play your music at a very, very loud uh, level. Obviously, to be able to make sure that your ear health is definitely taken care of um, because extended amount of time with really loud music could definitely damage your ears. Um, overall, if you'd like to be able to save some money on your order, please make sure to check out that link in the description below to save some dollars, about $10 off your next order from OnePlus. Uh, and of course, let me know in the comments below, what do you guys think of the brand new wireless bullet Z's? Let me know in the comments below, what do you guys think of the brand new wireless bullet Z? Would you be considering getting these headphones or would you be okay spending a little more, about 50 bucks more to get the wireless bullets too, which in my opinion, I still believe are the best pair of headphones that OnePlus has to offer. This is TK. Thank you very much. And I'll see you guys in the next video.